Father, it's me, Kyoko, again. I just want to let you know I'm surviving. Every day so rough since you're gone. But there was a day I made you proud. I learned I can't be late. They call me the Rising Tenshi, the Blue Angel, born to lead and save our people. A title when I learned very quickly cannot just be given. She's late again. Even before I'm meeting about forgetting her responsibilities. She forgets. Forgive me, Sensei. I'm here as requested. This is the third time this week, Kyoko. I understand. It was just- My quarters, Kyoko. But- Now. Do you have any idea of what you're doing? Do you know if you as our guardian were gone when you were needed? Too many of our neighbors are being attacked each year by the time of a moon's passing because of greed. Hanali Village could be one of them in due time without the right protection. Yes, I am aware, Sensei. My dearest apologies. Kyoko, your father was a great hero. He saved my life. As you know, he gave his own to save your mother. We were bestowed by the heavens that such a war as himself will grace our small village. You know this, don't you? I do, but I can't bear any of my father's legacy anymore. I'm not him. I don't know if I can head the village in this place anymore. I don't. Hinali Village is a fragile village, Kyogo. This is a land of demons and enemies from around every corner. I need you here defending your people. Even your mother will want that for you. However, I don't believe you have proven your worth to anyone lately. She's proven it to me. You know, what are you doing here? A little birdie called me and told me my big sis needed a hand and I'm not going anywhere. Plus, Kyoko has been summoned to the town center at once. Your friends cannot keep defending you, young one. You understand this. I promise I'll be a great leader for this village, Sensei. That's more like it. You'll begin by- But I'll do it for me. For my family's name. For my father. No one else. I am who I am. Thank you. You know, he may have had a point. You left your staff there. I snagged it for you before you decided to use it as firewood about the spectrum. <laughs> Thank you, Eno. I really don't know what I would do without you. Hey, your little sister has to be there too, right? Besides, Hinalaya Village needs a leader now. I can't imagine the burden of having it passed down from your father. But. I'm not letting you go through this alone. We're friends after all. I miss him so much. I have to go, Kyoko. My little brother is waiting for me back at the garden. Are you going to be okay? If the expectations weren't so high, I would be. Ha. Huh. She's the chosen heir. Pathetic. Well, I believe we should pay this town a visit. You can be the first to greet me, if you'd like. The little boy seems to need a hand with his garden. Would you be so kind as to give him one? Kyoko, are you there? No! Ito! 
killed her! Kyogo, you are here. Please, save your strength. I have to take you away from here. There's no time, child. Multiple people are being held under the pass. Eno is among them. Where did they take her? Who did this? <coughs> Forgive me, Sensei. You were right. I was a fool to allow this to happen. You can still make things right. We still have faith in you. I still have faith in the Blue Angel of Anali Village. Now go. So there's the prize daughter. The new leader, I'm assuming. Let her go! Don't you dare hurt her! Hurt her? Why would I do that? She's nothing more than a pawn now. So why don't you sit back and let me pillage this town like the rest of the cool fools who oppose me? like you play hero. Now die like the rest of you. Kyoko. Ahem. No. I won't. You're a joke. I've heard rumors about your father, about how great he was, but you're nothing like him, are you? I find it sad, really. You're right, I'm not him, aren't I? I'll never be him. But he lives in my heart now. My mother who died before him lives in my heart as well. Darn you! It's just me now. Your opponent is me. You know, please say something. Mm. Our blue angel, you sure don't play it like one. You know, I'm never letting this happen here again. To anyone, I promise. I always believed you could. I was never afraid. The village is growing day by day, and everything is beautiful, just like when you were here. The people look up to me now that it feels like you never left. The days are settled now and the doubters are still there. But we all have them, don't we? I can't stay long either. I cherish these moments we share, but I have a people to lead now. Kyoko, come on. We're gonna be late. You don't want to miss out on your ceremony. Coming! We'll meet again one day. And I'll make you proud. Stay.